Um, I, when I bought this, um, they were having a sale because they were running, they were putting out this new uh, Mega Ball, which is uh, um, a So I bought this one as, I guess, the last production runs of the Cupcake CNC. Um, they're no longer available as a kit, but you can buy the parts. And if you're, you know, you know, you can probably build it just from the parts. Um, but from now, they're just selling the um, Thingamatic, which is a little bit different than this, slightly modified. It's a little bit better print, but um, I went with this just because it was cheap. I paid about 600 The make a bot now for the Thingamatic is at 1200 so it's like almost double the price. And there's things that you can do to this to make it, you know, comparable to the other one. Um, so basically, what this is, um, a 3D printer. It prints this plastic. Which you can buy it. Also a Megabot. It comes in different colors. And this one is the ABS, which you can buy the PLA. The ABS is a little bit stronger, uh, so your prints come out a little bit tougher. Um, the PLA is it's just easier to print with the PLA, and the, the so your have, if you have like a finer resolution print, you might want to try it in PLA, or if you're not really familiar with uh, working with a replicator G, you might want to try PLA first. But since I got the ABS with the kit, I just went and went for it. I've had no problems really with it. We print out a few things successfully. So. How expensive is the plastic? This, it ranges from like the colors and how much you buy it, obviously. Um, I, think, I think it's about, 75 for five pounds of it. Like when I the kit that I bought was just one pound, and it was just this, the natural. Um, but you can buy a five pound of like the black for like eighty dollars, and five pounds will last you a really long time depending on what you bring it. Um, I what I bought this like almost six months ago probably, and I haven't even gone through it. I mean, I've printed that much stuff, but I printed out a few parts. Um, and like I said, the the bed size is only on this is a four by four. So, I mean, the prints aren't really super huge either that I'm doing, but um, you could also print your own, um, if you're not familiar with this, it originally started from like a Mendel kit, which is like a, a design similar to this, but it's just all like do-yourself with folds and stuff. And the uh, print bed is a lot bigger. It's like, it's like what, eight by eight. It's about double the size of this. And um, you could actually print the parts you need to create that, which is called a rep wrap machine. You can create the parts from, from on this machine to make that machine. Um, and that's originally why I bought this one. I wanted the, the Mendel, but I figured I'm better since I'm not really familiar with it. I'd rather get the maker first, print my parts, and then create the Mendel. And also that way I'd have a machine that I could actually recreate another machine with versus buying somebody else's printed parts. So, um, so basically, what I did was I bought the kit. Before I put it together, I painted it and stuff. You could do that, or you could just put it together. Um, it takes a little bit longer, obviously. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'll go through the first steps of um, creating a file. Um, the MakerBot uses Replicator G, which is a freeware version of um, G code <coughs> compiler. Can I show you right here? Yeah, I already have a part right here already. Um, loaded into it so you can kind of see it. Um, but this is, um, this, this is a freeware version, so you, anybody can use it, but it's specifically made for MakerBot, and it's on the website so you can download it. Mm -hmm. really so what we want to do is we want to create a file which is called the STL file, which is um, a CAD file, so that um, Replicator G can um, see it and then generate the toolpath. Now what I do is, if you also, you can go to Thingiverse, which is um, like a repository where a bunch of people have uh, put up free versions of their designs. It's all free, you can download it. Um, and I'll go ahead and I'll show you what that looks like. Sweet. So you can either, um, if you're not familiar with CAD, you can just go right ahead and go to Thingiverse and just shop around and see what you like and then just print it on your machine. Or if you want to um, be more advanced and you can start generating your own parts. You can, what I do, because I want to do everything for free, save as much money as possible, what I use is um, I use the Google Sketch, SketchUp. And Google SketchUp is free. This is the paid version. So what I would do is um, 
haven't used this in a while, so bear with me. So I guess I'll just start with the simple part. And whenever you, um, you can, there's um, online, there's tutorials on how to create things in Google SketchUp if you're not familiar with it. I'm not going to go into it right now. It's pretty, it can be complex, but I'll, I'll build a simple part. So basically, I'll create like a circle or like a little cylinder that we can print. So I, I use this uh, circle tool, and then we can use um, this tool and just raise it. Now created a simple cylinder, and as long as the size is right, we can print this in the maker. So we'll just we'll take this and see. Look, you can tell right here that um, probably the the path of this is going to be too large for a maker box, and it's only four by four. Now, you don't have to define each and every layer. You just put a three D object in there, and it just well in this. With this particular one, if you use the tools, you can you can make it pretty simply. Like you know, you just define the radius if you want making like the cylinder and then the length. And you can use like uh, there's also tools in here where you can measure. Like here's the measuring tape, so I can just go ahead and measure from here to here, and that that'll tell me how big it is. Now, if you made an object that was kind of hard, just to make a normal stand-up thing, does it make its own struts automatically? I understand. Okay, let's say you're making a sphere. Okay. And then... Oh, you're talking about support? Yes. No, it's not going to. You're going to have to create supports in your uh, CAD file. And okay. I'm sure there's other programs that might have something like that, but this is a free version of uh, Google SketchUp. And really, this is more like a drafting CAD program, uh, 3D modeling. I don't think it was really intended to use for or make a bot for you know, a 3D printer per se. Okay. But you can create supports within it. I mean, I could create like little cylinders to support like a sphere if I wanted to. What I would do is I'd probably put it on like a, on a block, maybe something like a square or something. That would make it easier to print. But, um, so right now we'll just assume that we're going to print this. And you can also change it too, so if you wanted to make this, you can enlarge it, like I said. I can go a lot more complex with the shape, but I'm not going to right now, just because um, we don't have the time for it. Have you tried doing any of this in uh, Ubuntu to see if there's any other complications when you convert over? Like I find an Ubuntu program to... Uh, well, no, I use a SketchUp in Ubuntu and then... I've never tried to use it in Ubuntu. I've only used um, SketchUp a few times. I mean, I've, I've made some parts with it, but um, I don't print enough to justify using it. You know, I now have both machines, so I have a Ubuntu machine and a Windows machine. So. But I'm sure you might be able to get it to run in the I'm not sure about. So what I'm going to do is, um, since we know my, my uh, platform is 4x4, four four, And what resolution do you get? I'm sorry? Um, what resolution do you get? Thousands of inch, like. I'm not. I'm not really sure. You have to look online to see what it is. It's it's pretty pretty good. So it won't be blocky or anything like that. 
Well, even like um, if you notice, like some of the parts, I mean, 3D printing, it's, it's pretty good, but I mean, it's not perfect. Um, when you're printing parts, because it's in layers, you'll see like a little bit of um, like a rib. See, I'm, I, this has been printed. You see, like um, each layer is kind of visible. I mean, you can sand that down. It's almost low, like instead of a circle, it's just like a really fine polygon. Right. Yeah, it's like I have polygon. Just with a whole bunch of small sides. With and that's probably so. due to the um, CAD program, not really the. I'm sure that the MakerBot can efficiently build a circle, uh -huh. but because I built this in the CAD program, that's kind of how I created it. Like I said, I'm not super familiar with CAD. Is that like I said, I use the free SketchUp, but I'm sure you can get that a lot nicer. And since I haven't used.